Hello, uh, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tilly's Natural Soaps, and I like to always add in all things pampered. Today I am revealing some of my soaps that I made um, the other day. Um, I had to really, they were kind of soft, so I had to really let them um, harden up a little bit in the mold before I can cut them. And I would like to say happy Indigenous Day to all my colored folks out there, my black, brown people. So today I will be cutting my soaps so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is my small loaf that I made. And this is my Cubans and Cognac. I don't know if you can see the colors. So this is probably a go as a sample soap or I will probably put it in my baskets. So um, I'm gonna slide this over. I gotta make sure that I have this correct. First of all, I'm gonna cut off the ends. That's what I like to do. I like to cut the ends off. You see that? It smells good too. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to make these very big or do I want to, they're still tacky. So I think I'm going to make these a little wide and I can put these, actually sell them as regular soap. They just will be shaped differently. Let me see how big I want them. I think this is a good size. I don't know how many I can get out of this, but so I'm going to cut this. You can see the brown on the bottom, but so that can be the top of the soap. I have my bigger one that's in the um. I'm trying to get it a little bit harder. These are my Cubans in Cognac. You can see the colors. This is the top of the soap. And I have some little racks. I have a little art cart that I have, see the colors here, Mr. Biden, that I, I believe I got from Ikea. And I'm gonna do my little sample soap. Like I said, I like to put sample soaps in with my business cards, or sometimes I like to Give them to people to try out. And here's a rack that I use for my cart, and these just slide right in. So I normally just set the soaps inside the rack. Where they will dry for three weeks because I said that soap are made with lye. You cannot make soap without lye. So anybody tell you you can, let me know. Even the coconut ashes that they do back in the day create some type of acoustic lye. So, uh, so I'm told, but don't quote me on it. So. These are going to be in the rack to cure. Let me set these to the side. So I'm going to look at my, see if I can unmold my other, uh, my slim mold of my um, Cubans and Cognac. And if I can't get it out the mold, then I will move on to my next scent. I'm wiping this off. Okay, let me see if I can get the other loaf. 
So I couldn't get that one out of the mold. Um, for some reason, my soap is very tacky. So that means I may have had a little too much liquid in it. Or oils. So I'm going to go on to my next scent. And if this is my Aqua de Gio. And if I can get this out of the mold. Okay, guys. My soaps are really, really tacky. I'm going to have to let these sit for a while. Maybe a few days longer. But here is my um, Versace. And I dropped the whole loaf. The whole thing while I was still in the loaf on the floor and I crushed the edge. So I'm going to have to cut that edge off. But let's see what it looks like in the inside. I don't know what I've done. Whew. But this is a mess. But that's the inside of my soaps. I don't know if you can see the brown. The blue and the brown. So I'm going to let all of this sit. Because it's a mess. I don't know what happened. But. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm happy with the inside because I didn't think the blue and brown would look nice. This is the way I dropped it at. See that curvature? So that'll go to my husband. Or I can cut it in half again. But, oh well, the life of a soap maker. And what I do, I um, when I make my soaps, Sometimes what I'll do is I'll make the batch ahead of time. And I know I make this batch was larger than what I normally make. Because I wanted to do like the five um, batches. But I may have gotten the oil ratio wrong. I like that. And I'm just going to put these all on the side because the side is softer. I'm going to get some parchment paper. So it can sit on. I'm going to let all of this air dry, harden a little bit before I put it on the rack. Because my rack has slots on them and I don't want them to get damaged in any kind of way. So, this is my, like I said, that is my um, Versace. And I could have put too much oil in there because I didn't smell it. So I was pouring and pouring and pouring. And me doing this for a long time, I should know better. But, um, I gotta cut some of this paper off so I can slide this. So, this is one down. No. This will be number two down. So 
I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting this. And I know you guys don't want to see me cut this whole loaf. I just wanted you to see the insides of it. So let me get my other loaf out. Okay, everyone. I'm on my third loaf of soap. Here's still my Versace. So I'm let you see that. So that's all to the side. So here I have, I actually stuck this one in the freezer. So I can release it from the mold a little better. So this is my Irish gentleman. And I should have just made a whole big batch of this because uh, this is the soap that I don't never keep in stock. So let me cut off one of my ends first. And I do make sample bags, so you'll get a sample of men's soap. That's my Irish gentleman. My samples, you'll get like a bag of soap, and it could have anything in it. You can't pick and choose. It's whatever I put in the bag, but it will be all men's soap. And I try to do like one facial inside the bag. But this is my Irish gentleman. I'm gonna, like I say, set these on the side because I don't know why they're so tacky. Well, I do know why, but uh, I know I keep saying that, but I'm going to have to clean these bars of soap up. That's the top of the soap. One of my family members stopped over yesterday and bought a lot of stuff. And she had everything sitting on the counter. I'm trying to put it in the bag. Then she had me washing her hair. Then I started twisting her hair. So she wanted the stuff that I made for her hair. So I, some scalp and hair oil that I made. So she keep adding and adding. Would she forget some of her products that were sitting on my countertop? So I had to set that to the side. And this Irish, I call this Irish gentleman because it's just like the Irish spring soap. But I think it's a little better. However, you know, you can't use people names. You can trademark a name, but you cannot trademark a scent. And I don't know if people know that or not. So I named it Irish gentleman instead of um, Irish spring. Just like my Versace. When I, all my designer fragrance that smells like the actual perfume itself, I would say type, women's type, like I have Coco Chanel Mademoiselle, Coco Mademoiselle, whatever, how you want to call it. So I go Coco Chanel Mademoiselle type. And then I'll put the W for women. I have Ed Hardy type for women, Ed Hardy type for men. I love that too. Ed Hardy has like a floral, fruity scent. And it's just so awesome. So here's my Irish Spring. So I'm going to finish cutting that. Wash my hands. And then go on to my next batch. Okay, now I'm cutting my Aqua de Gio. And this is, like I say, very tacky. So I have to be careful with this. my grass to the side. That's my fur baby. She's looking out the window. I'm going to start singing that song for him. How much is that doggy in the window? 
this was just a light color because this was a really cobalt blue matte color so i didn't want it to make it really really dark since it's aqua de geo i want it to look more like water here's my little sample pieces okay boo they hear you Still you guys. Now he runs downstairs like he can open the door on his own. So this is my Aqua de Gio. So I'm going to finish cutting this. Okay, I finally got my last bar soap and this is my Cubans and Cognac. I don't know if you can see it. And this was difficult. See how it messed up the sides but I can clean that up. So let's see what this swirl pattern looks like in the inside. Ah, oh, this is so tacky. This is going to have to dry as well. And I'm going to cut the end off like I always do so it can be a nice clean bar of soap. So I cut off the ends and that's the inside. Woo! Chocolatey! Usually I don't do it this dark all the way down to the bottom but I did this time. When I say tacky this is a mess. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to put this on the top because the top is a little harder. And what I'm doing is I'm smoothing the edges. So if this is all my soaps, I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to do a video, well not a video, I'm just going to do a quick look over so you guys can see everything.
enter see how the size is messed up because it was too tacky when I was trying to get it out of the mold but one swoop or with my scraper and it's all better so here's my soaps okay y'all this is all my soaps that I made this is my Versace type for men. See my swirls. Here I have my Irish gentleman. And that was a little leftover that I had. So I stuck it in that little mold. You see the um, moisture on here? I don't know if you can see it, but I had to put it in a freezer to get it out of the mold because it was tacky. So these will have to dry instead of three weeks. I'm going to do four to five weeks and this should be ready. This is all my soap scrapings that I have. I have a bag, so I'm letting all this dry because once it all dry, I'm going to do a soap and I'm going to put all my shaves in that one bar so it'll be like confetti. I'm not going to scent it because all these have different scents. This is my Cubans and Cognac. And I was able to put it back in the soap cutter. And I sliced the edges off. And here is my Aqua de Gio. These are more of my Cubans and Cognac. These are my molds. Just a mess. I'm going to have to clean all this up. And it's already soaked. But like I say, once you mix everything up and it solidifies, it's soap already. But you just can't use it until after it cures in it because it's lye heavy. This is my soap that got stuck in the mold. So I had to put it in the freezer so I can pop it out. The bottom was fine. So I can pop it out. So um, that's the soap that I had to clean up the Cubans and Cognac. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Toodles.